of fire. Particularly an allusion to post as sex society and how it relates to modern day Mexico today. In 1521, Tenochtitlan has been torn apart by disease and combat. The Spanish have overcome the odds. So where does the conquest go to next? The leader of the conquest, Hernan Cortes, has to go back to the coast of Mexico to continue with his conquest. So he leaves the proceeding to his second command, Pedro de Alvaro, to governor of Guatemala. Pedro was a Spanish born man in the small town of Badajoz in circa 1485. He was responsible for conquering most of Central America in parts such as the Yucatan Peninsula, Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador. He was a determined and brutal man. After mass murdering many Aztec men and women, the leader Cortes returns to a fast declining Aztec population due to famine and disease. The Aztecs are nearly knocked out for good. What has come out of the con this conquest of exploration? Maps, understanding, or maybe the contact between the old and new world. Okay. In the 1500s, Spain conquered north parts of Central America, as well as the Caribbean. The Encomiendas was put in place in most parts of Mexico. It was supposed to protect Native Americans against abuse, but it did not really make a difference. Spanish conquistadors who moved to America would receive a vast piece of land. If the land included a Native Americans, they had to complete con they complete control over them, and the natives got taxed by them. The land the landowners had to had to look after them, them and treat them well. But they actually actually what happened? They were te they were treated very poorly and got taxed even more than they were supposed to. The landowners were very harsh on that. Millions of years ago, the landmass Pangaea drifted apart, creating two very distinct worlds. The Old World, Europe and Asia, and the New World, North and South America. These two different worlds separated for so long till 1492 when Columbus reunited the two worlds. Where, all the questions stand whether Columbus was the first to discover America. He was the first to initiate exchange of plants, animals and diseases between the two worlds. The Europeans brought around the disease that killed many of the Aztec population. The Colombian exchange did some good things, such as such as Europe had not seen a tomato before the exchange, and the old world animals expanded the food supply to the new world, and the new world foods led to a massive population boost, one that had never been seen before. The Colombian exchange has changed the modern world through the introduction of old world and new world species of animals, plants, and food. Because of the Colombian exchange, humanity has achieved the ability to manipulate the world. And what, and what is done in the world, world for better or for worse. Good. Now to modern day Mexico and how the Aztecs have had an influence on the culture and religion. Mexico City, the successor of Tenochtitlan, many traditions from the Aztecs have been carried on today, such as food, clothing, and education. Art has also been carried to the feature of sun gods and religion showing their culture. The coat of arms in the middle of their flag is derived from an Aztec legend, legend that their gods told them to build a city where they spot an eagle on the noble. Eating a serpent, which is now Mexico City, education is carried on with the custom that all children must go to school or be educated. This is why the Aztecs have had such a big influence on modern-day Mexico today. Good night, ladies and gents. My name is Nigel Longbottom, signing off.